Hola mi gente and welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby and in today's video, you read the title, we're doing a 90s inspired fall look. Now listen, I miss fall. If you've never seen a video of mine before, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, what's up? I'm Gabby and I live in Puerto Rico. If you don't know where Puerto Rico is, it is an island in the Caribbean, it's a tropical island and it is always hot here. It's hot, there's no seasons, it's always tropical weather, which on most days is great, but you know, when you're in hurricane season like we currently are right now, it's nothing but rain. It's nothing but rain and humidity and rain and humidity and rain and humidity. So I miss fall. I miss fall leaves. I miss the, the changing of the leaves. I miss crisp fall air. I miss fall activities. I miss fall fashion. I miss fall makeup. So in today's video, I was just like, you know what? I really want to get glam. I I'm a little overwhelmed, so I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more fun, a little bit more laid back, an opportunity to chit chat so that you can get to know me a little better, my personality, and also just an opportunity to do some fall makeup, which I've been missing. We got this whole matte brown smoky eye moment. But if you want to see me talking about my videos, my Halloween looks that I have coming up, Blind Manor, The Hunting of Blind Manor, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. And mainly, if you want to see how I got this look, then mama paya. You always want what you don't have, right? If you have straight hair, you want curly hair. If you have curly hair, you want straight hair. If you live in wintry places, you want tropical places. If you live in tropical places, you want seasons. I miss seasons. So in today's video, I wanted to do a fall makeup look, but I also wanted to make it very 90s, very matte. Ah, there's a lot of things <laughs> we're going to be doing today that is very different from my typical makeup routine. We're using three specific eyeshadow palettes. Joseph Colors, Katie X Desi, Spanglish from Alamar Cosmetics, and we're also using uh, the Chilled palette from Makeup Revolution. And these are basically the shades that we're going to be working with. So as you can see, they're all very different. Some of them are more warm tones, some of them are more cool toned, um, medium, dark, lights we have a lot of different tones to work with so i'm excited i'm excited to do like a very glam matte look it's been ages since i've done like a matte makeup look all right so let's start i think i might just start with my eyes just in case there's some like fallout right so to start i'm going to prime my eyes i'm using a, a mac paint pot all right so we're going to start with a bit of ha 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 from the spanglish palette and i'm just gonna start that right on just like on the lid itself and work it towards the crease all right so i don't think i'm gonna like break down every single step that i'm doing right now because i really just wanted to do a chatty like get ready with me you know i'm really excited because i just realized how to use my computer as a monitor for my phone i don't know why apple makes it so difficult i mean i know why because they want you to buy like more products oh this is a hack in case any of you are interested but um if, in case you ever want to use your phone as a camera and have a monitor like say right now i'm filming by myself and i'm using my phone as my camera and in the last couple of videos i didn't have a monitor like so you use a monitor so that you can make sure that you're in focus that you're still recording and all that jazz and like in a couple of videos that i've posted like you know i lost footage because i thought i was recording and it actually wasn't so oh my god already <laughs> fall vibes fall vibes I love that color, just like washed all over the eyes. This is like, has a little bit of like a caramelly undertone to it. So we're gonna kind of go lighter to like darker, darker, darker. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm gonna take the color Cool, this cool tone one right here. So I'm taking Cool and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going from the lashes to the crease. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm using this, yeah. So I wasn't using a monitor um, at all. Like I have an Apple watch and so I would just kind of use that tiny little screen because you can use your Apple watch as like a remote for your iPhone camera, which is great. And it was, it was working, but like one, I have really bad vision. It's hard for me to see on that tiny little, little Apple watch screen. Like if I'm always in focus or if it's always recording and sometimes there's a lag and it's just like kind of weird. It's not always as reliable as I would like it to be. This cool color is nice because it's like truly a cool tone brown. Like, as you can see, it's like a little darker than the color that we put previously. If you want to use your phone as a camera and you want to use your laptop as a monitor and you have both Apple products, what you're going to do is you're gonna open the QuickTime player on your computer. You're gonna plug in your phone into your computer and you're going to start a new recording and you'll see that it's portrait mode. The way to get it to switch to landscape mode is by going into your messages app on your phone 
and opening a new text message, ideally to yourself, and then um, clicking the camera, and then you'll see it in landscape mode. Anyway, that was like a really long explanation. Oh my God, I'm already loving this look. Oh, I just love mattes. Wow, 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 wow. Look how beautiful these like blend into each other. Mmm, sexy. So I'm gonna bring in a little bit of this color right here. What is this color called? Girl Bye from the Desi X Katie X dose of colors because I just want a little bit of cranberry you know I just want a little hint of cranberry and this is just like a really nice like mauve almost anyway so I am using my computer as a monitor and this is like amazing it's a game changer I'm like very very excited it's been hard it's been like really hard filming by myself it is just when you are kind of like just working with what you got which I'm very blessed with the resources that I have my computer my phone my <laughs> watch you know like these are all amazing tools and I'm using them to the my best ability but I'm running out of space a lot it's like sometimes really overwhelming to be filming um by myself and I know that I had a plan to do like two videos a week that was my schedule I wanted to do two, two videos a week and for the most part in September like I did it you know I think there was one week where I only uploaded one video it's been a little bit difficult to like be filming these videos like on my own and editing them on my own and like uploading them and going from like not having any like filming experience really upload experience or anything like that to uploading like twice a week and editing videos and all this shit so it's been overwhelming i appreciate so much like the kind words and comments that you all leave particularly one of my closest friends like texted me the other day yesterday i think it was and she was like i just want you to know that you're doing an amazing job and i love your editing i'm so impressed you're so authentic and she was just giving me these compliments that like i needed to hear because i was getting into this headspace where i was just like what the fuck am i doing like who's watching this who is this for like nobody cares <laughs> i'm gonna go in with burn from makeup revolution again and we're just gonna really kind of like rub it into the lash line and sometimes i like get into those mental places i fully expected for self-doubt to rear its really ugly head eventually and it finally did and it has been like slowly and liz just like messaging me that out of the blue just made me feel so good <laughs> you know at the end of the day, I'm doing this because I'm unemployed because of the pandemic and I wasn't doing anything with my days during this pandemic. Filming these videos have been, has been a really wonderful like creative outlet and these videos have really just, just helped me see other things that I'm capable of that I didn't think I was like editing videos and keeping a production schedule. My mood is in Virgo so like I'm super organized and like I have to be in order to be successful in the thing that I'm trying to do. I have to set myself up for success so it's like I have to like have really detailed plans and everything in place and and, you know just everything ready to go so that I can just do it that doesn't always work sometimes you know you got to be a little bit flexible when it comes to like filming I'm already really liking this this is a mood this is a vibe it's a mood it's a vibe it's a mood, mood vibe and I have an idea for Halloween that I want to do which is a hollow week so the week of Halloween I'm going to be uploading a video a day of a new makeup look so you know getting all of those things into play and into place has been just like very overwhelming I don't know I was just like really not into it for a moment I was like kind of getting myself out of it i was like am i even having fun with this which it's like i am but like i was just like kind of doing a little bit of self-sabotage i'm going in with dose of color jeans and i'm just gonna go into the crease with this just very lightly because it's a dark color oh shit yeah we're just gonna blend this out for a minute <laughs> i just felt like overwhelmed and i felt like talking it through <laughs> amazing I'm happy with that. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with the eyes. I'm going to do my brows right now, but I'm gonna do them off camera. So if you wanna see how I do my brows like full on, I have a video on that. Okay, I'll be right back. Brows. You didn't think I was gonna do a 90s brow, did you? So we got some fluffy brows, cause that's what I prescribed too. Anyway, moving on, let's get into the complexion. So I have already applied a mattifying primer, the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It's been a while since I used this, but I did a really good job. Oldie but goodie. I'm going to mix two foundations. My Rare Beauty Foundation, love this foundation so much. I'm mixing it up with my Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. So this is a little bit too light, this is a little bit too dark. This is really creamy, this is really liquidy. I have used them together and I really like the look of it. So that's what we're gonna do. I am using my Real Techniques little sponge. Wow, maybe that's like way too much foundation. I think I just put way too much foundation on here, but whatever. Say lovey. Mm -hmm. Way too much. Say lovey. <laughs> too much. Say lovey. <laughs> you know what? I need to take this off. You gotta balance the neck. Have you all been watching The uh, Haunting of Bly Manor? Have you? Okay, so I watched it into like two days 
and now I started re-watching it and wow Mike Flanagan okay so the haunting the haunting I keep on saying the haunting the haunting of Hill House in my opinion is one of the best pieces of horror art in general be it a book a film a series like whatever it is one of the best pieces of art ever yeah it is a must see especially if you are a horror fanatic and it's not gory you know it's just like classic horror but really amazing storytelling and amazing filmmaking like wow it's just beautiful if you haven't seen it you have to it's on netflix but the second season just came out this show is an anthology so like each of the seasons are like different same actors but like different stories i'm curious to see like at the end of the day if like he's making like a little universe and everything is like connected this season i have already watched i watched in like two days and i'm re-watching it now and in this rewatch, i'm just like noticing all of the amazing details that like mike flanagan not only writes into the script but like films like he is like a magician he is really just playing the art of distraction for instance in this rewatch and like spoilers ahead hannah you always know something's up with hannah because hannah's like not eating anything hannah's not drinking anything hannah's always rubbing her neck and her head and i'm like okay is this like a version of the bent neck lady from like season one you know what i'm saying i'm like hmm interesting 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 if you've seen it you know that hannah's dead she doesn't know she's dead very uh very sixth sense moment you know it's particularly the episode after owen's mother's funeral that they do a sleepover and so there is this moment where hannah is sleeping on owen's shoulder and <laughs> She's like sleeping, sleeping in this contorted position like on his shoulder. And it's the same position that she like died in. Like that's the position that she's in on the bottom of the well. And when I saw that the second watching, I was just like, <gasps> oh, and I don't know if anybody like caught that, but like, it's heartbreaking. It's like really, it, it shattered my heart. And I was just like, God damn Mike Flanagan. <sighs> you're good you're good you see this combination i just think it's so pretty you know it's still luminous so we got to kill that luminosity because like luminous skin was not in in the 90s i do think that this combination this little cocktail this little foundation cocktail works really nicely i might not do concealer i don't think it's necessary i think these two products like covered so nicely anyway as i was watching the first time around i was watching super hypercritically and that's why i'm re-watching it because i just want to like enjoy it but i was watching it so hypercritically i was like looking in the background trying to find all the spirits and like all the ghosts and all the ones that I found like I wasn't scared because I was looking for them and I saw them and it wasn't as creepy also this season is just not as scary as the first season one the first season like had multiple jumps this first season like made me jump and like yell like a couple of times which is kind of hard to do in general because like I love horror movies and I watch a lot of them and I just like know a lot of the tropes you know I know a lot of the of like when scares are gonna happen a lot of them are predictable you know so even in this season some of the things were predictable and like definitely when we cut back to the present time like I realized who everyone was and that were Flora's wedding and Flora's the bride and all that before she even said the most obvious thing of like hey my middle name is flora i was like that's kind of lame i wish her middle name was like bly you know or viola or something like that something else there is a couple things that were like obvious like that but anyway i really enjoy this season this this this, this rewatch is like really making me appreciate it and yeah if you haven't seen you better watch it <laughs> better you should watch it also like new moon blessings to you all do you guys do new moon rituals like are you into that i'm like very into that i even like filmed a new moon ritual but then like i felt not 100 percent about it so i didn't post it but like let me know if that's something you're interested in this new moon in libra brings some really heavy things with it and just like i'm gonna link some articles down below so you can like read up into it but a revolution is coming y'all it's gonna be intense all right so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put concealer on because I truly don't think that I need any concealer. My skin looks good in my opinion. So I'm gonna finish with the eyes. Let's get a little pencil brooch up in here. I'm gonna go in with probably just this palette. I'm gonna go in with Churro. And I'm just gonna brush that all under my eyes and kind of connect it up to this upper color too. Oh, well, I guess I should have set my face before I put this color down. But you know what? We're doing a grungy fall look, you know? So, so be it. This has no product on it. I'm just like buffing everything. Wow, I really like the way this eye came out. It's just so sensual, you know? There's nothing like a brown smoky eye, truly. Wow, it's been so long since I did a smoky eye too. And an all matte look. Get out of here. Get out of town. We're gonna go in with another little brooch. But yeah, if you guys are interested in a new moon, ritual video for me let me know i like want to make it happen i feel called to make it happen because like whenever i started getting into new moon rituals i don't know i guess like from the videos that i saw online i wasn't really getting the information that i wanted and that's simply because like you know i soon understood that new moon rituals are really personalized very customized very personal you know so it's like it can be whatever you want it to be it's very hard to do it wrong yeah i feel like really good in mine and i figured that it could be a nice um outline or just something to inspire you all to kind of like maybe get into a new moon ritual and just use it as inspiration to kind of curate your own god damn this color is pretty what is this chains 
Jeans, that's a good color. Damn, that's a really good color. Wow, oh my God, I used to do so many smoky looks. Like smoky looks were like what I did for like a really long time. And it's been so long. I like feel so much like myself. Wow, I'm like coming to life here. Okay, so did I finish with the eyes? I don't even know if I finished with the eyes. Yeah, let's add some eyeliner. So my eyes are gonna water. <laughs> Watch my eyes water. This is a Kiko eyeliner that my BB gave me. Pretty good, she got it for me. Then even my eyes are watering. Told you. It takes little to make my eyes water. All right, we're just gonna smudge this a little on the lash line. Okay. Okay, cool. So we'll leave the eyes alone so that they can like stop tearing up. And meanwhile, let's just let's just powder it. Let's just go straight into powdering bish. Our powder, I'm using the Honest Beauty powder. And we're just going to set under our eyes very lightly. Sweeping super lightly as to not disturb any of the product underneath. I'm just gonna touch up my brows real quick. Hit it with some boy brow from Glossier. I was like literally thinking about Glossier's name the other day and how it's just Glossier. It's just the word that they pronounce it, Glossier but it's just glossier. Okay, so let's just bronze the skin a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty bronzer in Island Ting. And then we're gonna bring that to the forehead as well. Swoop it to the other side. We're just gonna go in with my MAC blush in taupe. Same brush, I'm just kind of hit the same areas. But this will help create more of a shadow. Wow, this is a look. Look at how like I still look shiny. My skin is so healthy. I can't help it. Wow, I feel like the last thing is the lips. So let's do that. All right, so while I was off camera, sorry, I just put on some mascara because my eyes were just like hella watery. So, you know, I just went ahead and did that. Now it's time for lips. Lips is what makes a 90s makeup look. I have all of my nude lipsticks here. So um, yeah, let's get into it. First, I need to put a little bit of lip balm. So I'm first gonna go in with Adamant Cosmetics Coqueta. And this is like a nice chocolatey brown. Oh, I'm not gonna overdraw, I don't think. Starting, the dogs are working. So I'm just gonna use my finger, blend everything out a little bit. Love! I love the Alamar Cosmetics lip liners because it feels so much like lipstick. Like when you start to move it around, and even the way that it dries onto the lips, it just feels, I don't know, just so lipstick like. I actually think I'm gonna go in with Hades from. ColourPop, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. I think this is one of my favorite lipsticks and I need to buy a backup. I need to buy a backup because I fucking love that lipstick. Yes, uh, amazing. Oh my God, I love this look. I truly love just like fall makeup. There it is. That's the look. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed with this look. I just think it's so pretty. It's so fall as well. I love it. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Bueno, mi gente, that is it for today's look. I hope you liked today's video. It was really nice to just chit chat with you guys, do my makeup, do a look that I just really love and I miss doing fall makeup so much. So this was really nice and I just feel like myself with this makeup on. Uh, comment down below what you thought of Bly Manor, if you've seen it, The Haunting of Bly Manor. Or if you haven't seen it, comment down below what Halloween looks you want me to do. The approach that I'm gonna have to my Halloween makeup looks is going to be like modern interpretations of these characters. So I have a couple different characters that I wanna do, a couple of full on face painting moments, but the other moments are gonna be a little bit more wearable. You know, that's what it's gonna be. Mi gente, please subscribe down below if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you like liked it. What else? Follow me on Instagram over at go Gabby Gabby. Like I said in my last video, my full face of Latinx makeup brand video where I spoke Spanglish the entire time, which is really hard to make and edit and subtitle and all that jazz. So if you haven't watched it, please give it a watch and a like and all that jazz. But um, I really like talking about intense things. So if that's something that you want to do, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and DM me. Give me a DM. Let's get to know each other, you know? Um, other than that, mi gente, thank you so much for watching. Remember to drink some water, to take a breath, and that I believe in you. And I'm sending you so much light, paz, and mucho, mucho, mucho amor. Hasta la próxima, which is going to be a Halloween video. So see you next week with that video. But I just wanted to like have some fun with makeup for a second. Here, the leaves don't change, you know? Oh, also, LOL at like how different colors my face and body are. That's just how it is. What can I say? What am I saying? Okay, what do you mean? Nobody cares. <laughs>